section, each one of you will be getting a book that looks like this. Okay? Uh, the book says Fish Dissection Guide. You guys will follow along that in that guide. Uh, you will go step one, step two, step three. You'll follow each one of the directions as, uh, as they are printed in there when you do your perch dissection. I'm going to walk you guys through today doing a salmon. We're going to make sure that we understand a lot of the internal anatomy. And then we are also going to um, identify the sex of this fish based on that internal anatomy. You may or may not be able to tell the sex of this fish prior to doing it as, as an actual dissection. Your fish, you're going to have to do the dissection to figure out what spe uh, whether it's male or female to determine its sex. Okay. All right, so the first thing that you guys are going to do is you guys are going to cut off the operculum. Okay, if you can't see at the board, find a spot where you can figure out or a spot where you can see. So the operculum, we're just going to lift it up. We are not going to cut any of the gills. We're just simply going to cut the operculum right off. <laughs> Is there bones in there? Just kind of hard. Okay. So the operculum is removed. We can see behind the operculum. What is right directly behind the operculum? Gills. 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 What are what is the job of the gills? To breathe, breathe. Yeah, breathe it, bring in oxygen. They function much like the lungs that you have in your body. Okay? The fish takes in water through the mouth. The water that comes in through the mouth is then passed over top of the gills. Oxygen is collected. Oxygenated blood is then pumped to the rest of the body. Okay? So we can identify the gills here. Are we good so far? We we uh, yesterday marked them out, marked different external external parts. Okay, the next thing we need to do in order to uh, properly enter the internal cavity of our fish, we are going to cut across the bottom, and we're going to be very very gentle cutting across the ventral side of the fish. What happens if I just jam my scalpel in there? Oh, like stuff. Yeah, I'm going to cut stuff. I do not want to do that, okay? You need to be very gentle and very ginger about how you are cutting with the knife, okay? If your knife is not sharp enough, see me, we can find other scalpels that are probably a little bit sharper. Scissors, scissors are going to help a great deal, okay? Once you get inside the cavity, sometimes just using scissors to cut back is the best method, okay? So I'm just going to take and I'm going to make an incision right on the bottom side of the fish. And my scalpel's pretty dull. Okay, now that I've made an incision, I've gotten just through the muscle tissue. I'm going to probably use my scissors. Okay, so I felt my scalpel go through. And I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut right down the ventral side of the fish. Scissors are dull too. If you have any type of equipment that is dull or it is not cutting the way that you feel it needs to be cutting, See me and we will get you taken care of. We'll get new, some new uh, equipment for you. Some of the equipment is getting old. Your fish will not have any blood in it. The reason that I'm doing this one is because it does have blood. Anybody know why it would be a big deal for you not to be in contact with blood? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. It gives you like, diseases. Yeah. Blood carries disease. Blood carries disease. Okay, so your fish will not have any blood in it, mostly because it's put in formaldehyde. And I'm going to make my incision all the way up to right behind uh, the pectoral fin. 
Right down here at the pelvic fin, it might be a little bit tricky. Uh, when you cut, there's actually some bones you might have to cut through. Just be gentle as you cut through them. Go someplace else if you're going to puke. You better stay far away. And I'm going to cut all the way down, being careful not to cut any of the digestive system. I'm going to cut all the way down to the vent. Okay? Okay, once I get down to the vent, I'm going to make two lateral incisions towards the dorsal side. Lateral incisions towards the dorsal side. So I'm going to go right behind the... Um, the fin, and I'm going to work my way right up the chest cavity. And the same thing over here, just going to cut up. Is that an egg right there? It's pretty cold. And then I'm just going to cut right along the lateral line and I'm going to take the uh, I'm going to take the entire flap right off. Oh, there is some, there is some eggs left. Like five times. So right now I'm actually cutting through some uh, some rib cage. There's actually some bones in there, so I'm just cutting them back. Okay. Like, All right, now I can see the internal parts of my fish. Okay? In order to see the heart, you may have to take your scissors and you may have to cut up underneath the gills and you might have to cut this entire bottom section out right here. Okay? So I'm going to show you what that incision means. It just means I'm going to continue cutting all the way up underneath the gills. So I just keep going. Okay. This incision down here would continue to go up towards the mouth. Do the other hours have a fish? Yeah. You go catch them when they're spawning. When are we doing our fish? Hopefully starting tomorrow. Are you serious? What we gotta do is put a start spraying. Wait, what is starting tomorrow? Our fish dissection. So are we getting a group today? Maybe. But like, how do you catch so many fish? Okay, so I'm just slowly cutting it out. I'm being careful that I don't hit anything. Okay, now I've completely removed that bone t and that tissue. So now I can see the heart right behind the gills. Okay. <laughs> Looking at my fish, can I de identify its sex? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, female. it's a female it has eggs. It's a female because it has eggs. Very good. One, there's the eggs in it. If you guys would like here in just a little, in a minute, you guys can come up here and you can observe the eggs. You now have seen how we go about actually cutting the fish so that then we can remove any parts to see the internal organs. Okay. I am not going to go through each one of the internal organs with you right now. You guys are going to be responsible for determining those on your own. If you need help with them, I am here to assist. Mr. Sherrick is here to assist. Okay. Now you've seen how to properly cut your fish though. Okay. Questions? Yes, sir. How do you tell if it's a male? During this time of year, because they're spawning, the males will have very large white sacs 
across uh, kind of the top part of the internal cavity. Um, and those white sacs are, are the testes that ca are carrying milk or sperm. Okay. So you'll, you, you can see those when you, if you were to dissect a male. Ms. Heather? Are you, how well, um, we will take them and we'll put them in a uh, biohazard. I'll have a bag out here for you guys just for biohazard. Are you those fish? No. What? Any other questions? Logan, what's your question? Heart's right up towards the front. Any other questions before we have to get in our groups? No. Can I keep an eye?